how was it, how effective was the first from uh, lower primary? That program since 2011 that was brought in board to roll out road traffic and safety in the lower primary section. Yes, it has gone far, but it has not achieved the intended benefit really in the whole country. Probably we needed to do much more. Now what we are doing moving forward is to engage with the Ministry of Transport. We need to see how best we can develop a curriculum that together, what is that the content can be in, in, incorporated and develop a curriculum that can be taught in low, upper primary because without having a curriculum, without an agree uh, what to teach, it's difficult to roll it in upper primary. But the most important thing we want to discuss is to see to it that we take opportunity in every uh, school material that is coming up. We are discussing the possibility, for example, the exercise books that is being sold for our children. If we have the cover containing the road safety measures, if we have the textbooks, behind the textbooks, the measures, how best we can uh, promote road safety that will add value to our children. Whoever is selling textbooks, make sure add measures to prevent road traffic accidents, to make sure to add something on road safety so that the child has always the exercise books, has the textbooks, is able to read, is able to, to internalize, and as a result, it's spread in the whole country. But this is something that we are discussing. What avenue can we take? Which opportunity can we take to sell road traffic measures, safety for the children in the country? So the, this initiative, maybe we can just give an insight. How important is it? Of course, you know the, 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 the accidents are becoming, the border borders have become too many. Accidents are very many. Parents are utilizing border borders because it takes, it's, very, it's a very fast means of transport from one place to place to another. How important relevant is this initiative? Like this? But one thing is that uh, this initiative that we've launched today is an initiative to ensure that our children are transported to schools in a safe manner. Whether they go on a border border, they put on helmet. Whether they are taken back home, they put on helmet. And it is only when the parents are sensitized, when the community, when the stakeholders, we all own and we accept that there is a problem. And to solve the problem, this is the solution. That is how we can prevent the road traffic accident among our children. But by and large, all Ugandans have accepted that there is a problem in terms of transporting our children. We need safety on the road. We need safety in the transportation. And that is the remedy. That is the best we can offer. And you, the media, you've got a big role to play. We can sensitize, we can reach out to the community through you. When you put this on the radio, on the television, when you speak to the people on the papers, then people say, hey, so there is a new initiative, there is a new development which we all must embrace. If you leave it to education and transport only, we cannot achieve. So I call upon all Ugandans, let's embrace load traffic measures for our children.